In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating scheduled tasks in Spring Boot. I'm here at the spring.io website, and we're going to come over here and click on Guides. So there are a bunch of Spring Boot guides in here that kind of have one purpose, and they're designed to be completed in 15 to 30 minutes, and they're just quick hands-on instructions for doing one specific thing. So in our case, we want to learn how to schedule tasks. I can see this scheduled tasks here, but if I didn't know where it was, I could start typing and it will filter it down for me. So I'm going to click on scheduled tasks and we're here at the tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is actually clone the repo. So I'm going to copy this, head over to terminal and I'm in a folder called boot and I'm just going to go ahead and clone that. And now if I take a look, I have a folder called GS Scheduled Tasks. Inside of there, I have an initial. And if we jump back to the instructions here, the first thing that it says is you can go ahead and clone this. And then we went on jump into the GS Scheduled Tasks initial folder. And that's where we're going to start our project. If we jump back, there's actually a completed so there's a complete folder. So if for whatever reason you can't figure something out and not sure how they got to that point, you can always look in the complete folder and see what it looks like when it's all said and done. So we're going to jump over to Spring Tool Suite. I'm actually going to right click over here and go to import. And I'm going to import an existing Maven project. So if I jump to that folder, the initial folder, it's going to find that palm. I'm just going to select that and click finish. And there's our project. We're going to go ahead and open it up. If we look in the source main Java, there's a hello package and nothing else. So let's head back to our instructions. Uh, the first thing it says is we're going to create a scheduled task. So I'm going to talk through this code real quick and then we'll just create it ourselves. <clears throat> So we're going to create a file called scheduledTask.java, and it's going to be a class uh, marked with the at component annotation. And if you remember from the course, uh, the at component annotation is basically going to tell Spring to mark this as something to include in its component scan. And because of that, Spring will automatically import that bean into the container. Without this, we would have to there would be no way for Spring to understand that it's there. So we're going to mark that with at component. And then we're just going to add this new at scheduled annotation here. And in this case, we have a fixed rate of 5,000 milliseconds. So every five seconds. There are other options that you can put on that, like a fixed delay. And if you look here, there's a link. You can even do some crazy stuff with uh, a class called the cron sequence generator and you can create some really cool like different sequences if you want to get crazy with it so I'll link to this documentation but we're just gonna stick to the simple example that we're using here so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna create a new class called oops, scheduled tasks and finish Okay, so as I said before, the first thing we're going to do is mark that with at component. Okay, so let's talk through this. We just created a field called uh, date format, and it's just going to allow us to format our date. And we have this method now, public void report current time. And all it's going to do is print to the console and say the time is now and format the date of the current time for us, uh, the current date and time out in a time format. So now what we want to do is we want to add that at scheduled annotation so go ahead and import that 
And we're going to say, if we do control space here, we can see the different options that we have. So we can do like a fixed rate, which is a long. Um, if we wanted to do like a fixed rate string, uh, we could do that as well. Uh, we could do that for, say we wanted to set this property up in an, our properties file. We could, we could pull that in and inject that value into this particular class and then use that here as well. And then, like I said, there's that cron that we can use to do some, some crazy different, schedule, uh, different types of, of scheduling. So let's just go ahead and stick with the fixed rate. And we're going to say 5,000, which should run every five seconds. So that's good for that. We're going to save that off. Now let's go back to our guide. And now we need to enable scheduling. So uh, normally when we create a project with the Spring Initializer, we would have a main application class. In this case, there is nothing there. That we, the, this guide wants us to create it. So we'll do that. And we'll look at starting this up without the, the magical annotation that makes things happen and then we'll come back and add it and see it and in, in see it happen so let's go ahead and create a new class okay so in our class we just have a public static void main Okay, and then every, so if you've been following throughout this course, you know that we need to mark this with the Spring Boot application annotation. And that brings in things like component scan and auto configuration. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and let's try and run this now. So we're going to run this as a Spring Boot app. And you'll see that it started up and actually stopped and nothing's going on. This is because this application really has nothing to do at this point. Um, unlike all the other examples that we saw, we would start this up and then maybe go to the browser, right? But in this particular case, if we look at the palm file, we just have a Spring Boot starter dependency in here. We don't have a starter web dependency in here. So this is not a web project. We don't have an embedded Tomcat in here to go to the browser and see something. So in this case, we don't need a browser because that's not what this app is doing. But nothing's going on here. So let's go ahead and clear this out and let's look at what's going wrong. So we have this Spring Boot application that starts up. We have this class that should be picked up. And according to the scheduled annotation, we should be running this every five seconds. But let's go back to our scheduled task documentation in, or our guide here. And it basically says that everything that we've done, we still need to enable scheduling. So the way that we do that is by using the enable scheduling annotation. And so that ensures that a background task executor is created. Without, without it, nothing gets scheduled. So you can read through here and kind of see what all of the other annotations here are doing. We've looked at most of them throughout this course, but this is just a, the only thing we're missing here is the at enable scheduling. So let's go ahead and add that. And now if we save this and run our Spring Boot app, now what we should see is it's gonna start up and every five seconds it's going to print the timeout so there's the time and it's just going to continue to do this until we stop the application that's because again we have set up a fixed rate of five seconds to go ahead and print this out to the council so I think that's all we're gonna look at um, like I said if you run into some issues you can always look in the complete folder of the guide uh, but these guides are great because they, they show you one specific thing that you need to get done. And in our case, it was scheduling a task. And lo and behold, it's really, really easy to set up scheduled tasks here in Spring Boot.